All right, that was White Zombie, more human than human. Now we're standing in France after last night's shenanigans, so we're going crazy on the bus. I'm standing here with Thomas and Martin from Mexico, one of my favorite bands from the 90s. They're kicking ass on this tour, opening up, doing a great job. And I want to talk to you guys about how it's going on with the tour and how everything's going with your equipment and everything like that. And sure. All the harsh stuff you've been going through, surviving and all that. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Uh, it's been it's been good so far. We've had some problems because of uh, the, the lack of time for sound checks and so on. But you know, it's been good anyway. So there's no big problems. Some shows have been like pretty mellow, but uh, throughout the tour we've had like a lot of great shows. So we're really happy with it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of good response from the kids towards you guys. Awesome. And if you don't know, this guy's one sick drummer i want to ask you some of your influences and what inspires you every night to get up there and play such psycho drum rhythms i have no inspiration whatsoever to do it i just have to do it because my friends they 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 force me to it okay yeah i don't want to do this and some of your favorite drummers some of your favorite drummers might be uh, sean reinert from cynic is one favorite and some fusion drummers vinny Kaliuta, dave weckl and stuff like that Heavy, heavy hitters. Now we're going to talk to Martin a little bit about the six, seven string style. I know that, that uh, a lot of people may not know that these guys play seven string guitars. It gives them an extra added depth and just amazing stuff. Why don't you talk to you a little bit about that? Well, we do it to get some low end, pretty much. Just to do something different. It's fun to use them. They're pretty fucked up, the guitars. They look like hell. Pretty ugly. So they go along with us. And uh, it's pretty okay. We do it to do something different. Why don't you talk a little bit about Frederick and his wicked, wicked solo style, and how long he's been playing and stuff. Well, Frederick, our lead guitarist, has uh, developed something that's uh, originally used for synthesizers. It's called the breath, breath controller. And uh, what it pretty much is, is he blows into this mouthpiece, which responds to his guitar. So he blows his tones, he plays them yeah. and blows them. And it sounds weird, and it's a hell of a lot of fun to listen to, an original. Oh, was that a breast controller? Breast was controller, it? Yeah. Yeah, the breast. <laughs> the breast I think it's controller. made by Yamaha. Yeah. It's an amazing tool. He uses it to the best. Destroy, erase, improve, Meshka's new album. Let's talk about the heavy production real quick. Uh, we did a heavy production real quick. <laughs> How about that one? He hates me. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, you got to check this record out. It's amazing. It's technical trip. It's amazing. I love this album. This is the Jack Move edition of Headbangers Ball, and uh, see ya. <laughs> 